we are at 1,996 calories. 1996, the year after I was born. Great year. I was one walking around, my little dong was just flopping around as I was crawling. What a legend. So you wanna know how to eat 2,000 calories a day? Let me show you. YouTube, my family, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I hope all of your smiling faces are smiling and still being faces. In today's video, I wanna share with you exactly how I'm eating, how I'm training, how I'm living life on a 2,000 calorie cutting diet, trying to get ripped before Christmas. So I wanna give you some insight on my full day, what goes into it, what I do, and how I eat. If you guys can do me a huge favor before we get in the video, it is completely and utterly free for you to do this. It takes literally two seconds out of your day. I just need you to smash the thumbs up button for me. It really does help my video get out to more people and help the channel grow. And speaking of the channel growing, we are getting so close to 500 subscribers on the channel, which is just outstanding. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, do it now because I don't want you to miss out on any more of this and I want you to be part of my YouTube family. So without further ado, let's get straight into the full day of the eating. Well, it's dark outside. That's because it's 8.30 p.m. And I'm starting the video at 8.30 because to get the most out of your days, you wanna make sure you're setting up your day to be productive from the night before. Let me show you what I mean. So with me working out first thing in the morning, I wanna make sure I have my clothes set out. And one of the main reasons why I'm doing this is because the less decisions you have to make first thing in the morning when you first get up makes it that much easier to just get up, get out of bed and go straight to the gym. Another key for me is I like to fill my water bottle up the night before. So that way it's not super cold when I first drink it and it's ready to go first thing in the morning. Set my AirPods and my keys right here along with my pre-workout I'm gonna put in here in the morning and I'm good to go right when I wake up. So that pretty much covers it for me that for the night before and that means I'm heading to bed. I know I'm like a grandpa now going to bed at like nine o'clock, but hey, when you get a lot of things done in one day, you gotta go to bed early and get that good rest time in. So I'm gonna head to sleep and I will see you guys in the morning. I am feeling pretty good this morning. It is 5.30, 5.31 actually. So running slightly behind, but not too bad overall. Today is a back and bicep day, which I really need to hit my bicep because I've been neglecting them recently. And that's pretty much it. This is exactly how my mornings go whenever I'm trying to have good, productive, exciting days. Less talky, more lifty. Workout complete. 
What a workout that was. Almost 900 calories burned, and that workout was fueled by pure motivation and the new 2 Chains album, which absolutely fucking slaps. So help me God, I literally just put the album on and grinded through that workout. It is about 7.10 right now. Actually, it's exactly 7.10 right now. Only thing left to do is shower up, get ready, get dressed, and get to work. And here we are, dressed and ready for work. Yo, check out this jacket right here. Look at the, ooh, it's so soft. All the way through, too. It's snap, and it was literally $12. The jacket from none other than the legendary Costco. So up next, typically I just make my protein shake. So for protein shake today, we're gonna do two scoops of the select cake pop protein. I think it's by PE Science. A little bit of almond milk, about a half a serving, so only 15 calories. And then one of these packets, which is only 110 calories and contains Blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, kale, spinach, and bananas. All right, and this is what I end up with. It's a pretty full to the brim shake, and the calories are gonna be right here for you. So that's where we're at for the day. Now I don't actually drink this yet because I just brushed my teeth, I'm about to head to work. Now see how red this is? Now compare this to this, I don't understand why, but it turns like gray after it sits in the fridge for a little bit. It is 10.09, so about two hours gone by. So I'm just gonna sip on this and get a little more work done. And I pretty much know when to drink this whenever I start feeling hungry. Whenever I have the first like sense of hunger is when I start to drink this. Three hours later. Wow, time really does fly when you're working hard, doesn't it? it <laughs> All right, it is now noon. So typically how my lunches go, I will work on my laptop for a little bit on some video editing, things like this. Um, and for the second half of lunch, I will get a little cardio in. So obviously quick change in our little storage closet back there. And we have some decent equipment back here. We have Drew doing a little cardio right now. And uh, I'm gonna hop on the elliptical and do about 30 minutes of pretty hard elliptical training. It's nice just having some form of activity in the middle of your day. It gets me refocused, helps my metabolism stay active, and just calms me down and gets like the jitter jitteriness out of my system. So that's the plan. Let's see how many calories I can burn in 30 minutes on the elliptical. Cardio done. We are at 29 minutes, 334 active calories. Not bad. Not bad at all. Do a quick physique update. Sweaty. Now, sometimes I will eat something right before I do cardio. Sometimes I'll eat something right after I do cardio. It really just depends on my hunger levels for the day. As of right now, I'm not feeling hungry at all. So I think I'm just gonna change, get back to work, and uh, check in with you guys whenever I do actually put something in my mouth. Now, as I literally just said I wasn't hungry, got back to my desk, worked for about 30 minutes. Now I'm definitely hungry. So I'm gonna have one of these. One of my favorite protein bars of all time, the Kirkland Chocolate Brownie, Costco brand. Who would have thunk it? By the way, upgraded my desk setup here. Check this out. Oh my gosh. Two 30 inch curved monitors up top, one 34 inch curved monitor on the bottom. Can I get an O face? Oh, it's pretty sick. And I get a lot of work done on it. Either way, I'm gonna eat this protein bar, which if you didn't know is way better cold. Oh yeah, and the macros and calories for the day are gonna be up here. Mm -hmm. So that's where we're sitting, pretty nice. And on my Apple Watch, I have burned almost 1,500 calories. Pretty solid for 1.30 in the afternoon. One eternity later. Oh, wow, okay, four o'clock, actually 4.01 to be specific. Finally time for my real first meal. Pretty solid, pretty voluminous meal here, consisting of 
about 180 grams of chicken. I think this is 100 grams roughly of some cooked shrimp that I made last night and then 150 grams of the Publix Roma blend veggies. So high protein, high volume, cannot wait to eat. I typically eat around any time between like 2.30 and 3.30, but with a ton of things happening at work right now, just didn't have time until right now. But it doesn't matter as long as you get the calories in throughout the day, everything's good to go. So I'm gonna enjoy this and I'll see you guys in a bit, maybe for one more snack. All right, work complete. Uh, I spent my typical 30 minutes in bed, lying there, exhausted, questioning my entire existence and whether all this work I'm putting in is worth it. But then I remembered that all of you guys are gonna like the video and sub to the channel, so it all works out. Work was insanely stressful today. Uh, did not have time to have a little snack, so I think I'm gonna have a snack right now. It is 5.55 and I'm gonna have one of maybe my all time favorite snacks, and that is a refrigerated honey crisp apple. It's like the size of my giant forehead. Look at that. I'm like an apple unicorn. This apple weighs a whopping 400 grams. How nuts is that? Think about how much volume you're putting in your body. Now you got the core in there. So let's say overall it weighs 350. So 181 calorie snack. That's not bad at all. All right, you ready for some? ASMR apple eating. Mmm. So juicy. All right, I'm gonna have my snack, do a little more work on the computer, and I'll see you guys in a bit for dinner. All right, so while my steak is finishing up over here, I want to touch on something else, and that is water. Check this out. Now wait. Any second. Can you see that right there? That green glowing dancing water bottle in front of me? Well, I did a full video on this water bottle if you wanna check out my review on it, but this is the Hydrate Spark 3. Pretty much it tracks your water intake throughout the day. Now, my goal of water is technically one ounce per pound of body weight, so around 200 ounces of water a day. But because I'm eating a lot of food that has water in it, obviously, like all food does, my real goal is about 150 ounces of water. And I just hit that at 152 ounces of water according to my Apple Watch. So drinking enough water obviously has like a ton of benefits. But for me, I definitely see improvements whenever I'm in the gym as far as like being able to get a good pump and staying energized and focused throughout my workouts and hydrated, obviously. And it keeps me from being hungry throughout the day as well. A lot of times your body is really thirsty, but the signal that your brain sends makes you think that you're hungry. So chances are, if you drink more water, you'll eat less food. All right, let's check out what we have for dinner. All right, so let me blow your mind real quick. These are honey gold potatoes. So pretty much what I did was sliced all of them up, threw it in my air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer, you gotta cook with an air fryer. Such amazing results on things like potatoes, vegetables, even fish and things like that too, come out amazing in the air fryer. But check this out. Oh my, look at how crispy those are. And it gets even crazier when you realize how many calories are in this stuff. Here's my plate, 210 grams of these potatoes comes out to right around 130 calories. And look at how much volume that is. It's insane. Like how amazing does this meal look? And for not that many calories, so much volume, so much tastiness. I cannot wait to shove this down my throat. I might even miss my, I might go straight into my esophagus. Just neglect the throat altogether. No, I gotta get the tongue so I can get the flavor, obviously. But what I'm probably gonna do to top this off is sprinkle a little cheddar cheese, maybe, over the potatoes, maybe a little bit of ketchup, mustard, dip it in. And when I factor all those things into my calories and macros for the day, here is what we're looking at. So still gonna have plenty of room to show you guys a little dessert which obviously is my favorite meal of the day. So I'm gonna enjoy this 
well-deserved meal, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Uh, did I forget something? Yeah, Joey, you did. A zero-calorie beverage. Tonight, we're gonna have a Sprite Zero. Relax, enjoy dinner with a zero-calorie beverage. Mm. She did. Steak is just like one of the most delicious things to me, especially when it's like nice and tender, like that steak was. Oh, that meal was amazing. Potatoes nice and crispy with a little bit of that cheese melted on top. Mmm. Mmm. It is now 8.30. I'm tired. Like, I'm tired right now. Um, but I do want to finish off my calories and get something sweet in my system. So let's see what we got for dessert. All right, so after some quick math, I came up with me having right around 300 calories left to hit my 2,000 calories. And I don't really need any more protein. I'm at like 197. But it just so happens to be that my favorite dessert is really high protein, which is Dan and Light and Fit Greek yogurt. And it's really good when you're trying to top off your calories to do it with yogurt because you can just throw in whatever you need to hit your calories. So pretty much the plan is just use all of these ingredients right here, mix them together until I come up with about 300 calories. All right, now I would say this is a pretty aesthetically pleasing dessert if I say so myself. All in all, this looks amazing and I know it's amazing because I have this for dessert quite often. All right, so as we pop into the calories and macros for the day, with everything counted and everything tracked, everything in, we are at 1,996 calories. 1,996, the year after I was born. Great year. I was one walking around, my little dong was just flopping around as I was crawling. What a legend. 195 grams of carbs, 39 grams of fat, 227 of protein. Is this ideal macros? Mm, not exactly. Does it really matter? No, not really. As long as I'm, I'm hitting 200 grams of protein, staying under 2,000 calories or right around there, I'm good. So overall, I feel amazing with how today went. This is a pretty standard day for me through and through from the training, the eating and everything in between. I hope you guys got some good information out of this video. I hope this will help you go on to maybe do a 2000 calorie diet or somewhere around there of your own. If you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to smash thumbs up button. Like I said, it really does help the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel, I'm dropping content all the time. Sub, be a subscriber, be part of this family. I'm glad to have you here. For all my subs that are here right now, still watching the video, thank you. You are greatly appreciated. But that is gonna be all for me today. I'm gonna to enjoy this dessert, head to bed. It's 8.42, so almost my bedtime. God, I'm a grandpa. And I will be seeing you in the next one. Peace.